So no great surprise to find me back here at uh, Sydney Motorsports Park for the final event of the St. George Summer Night Series. So just like the last event, it's a double header. So it's two nights, Friday and Saturday night. It's just the sun's uh, the head down for the Friday afternoon and we should be out having practice pretty soon. So we'll see how it goes. I think uh, it's it's not only good for me to keep racing and, and, and ride my local track, one of the ones that I've loved for years, but I think it's good because it gives everyone an opportunity to come. The, the event is um, condensed into a small amount of time and obviously being at night, people haven't got their commitments with work and they can even bring the family because it's free. So I think the whole combination of everything that it has to offer is uh, is absolutely ideal. We get, to, we get to go racing, we put on a show and people get to come and watch. I, I can't think of a better way to spend the weekend. Qualified uh, fifth. I did two laps because it's um, I used the same tyre from qualifying in race one, so I didn't want to do too many laps on the tyre. So I did a 30.2. I thought oh, that should be fairly safe, um, and I ended up fifth. So everyone sort of dug in a bit deeper on uh, in qualifying than me.
couple of good results so far here. That last one was a cracking 0 0.06 second win. Well done. Yeah, a win's a win. You'll take it any way uh, that you can. You know, I was trying to control the lead and not because I'm using the same tyre in the next race. Uh, I didn't want to do more than I needed to, you know, just try and conserve some of the, the, the rubber um, for the next race. So um, leading, I was just trying to control the speed and, and not overcook it. And then, um, yeah, I was I knew I was sitting there as a, a, you know, as a sitting duck as they speak. But, you know, I thought the pace was maybe enough to just hold position. But then both uh, crew and uh, Mike come past. So then I had to turn the cap backwards and uh, get some more aggression. You know, 20 years ago, I was doing the, the same uh, strategies then as I have to employ now. I look forward to every uh, every race I can be part of. Uh, so yes, definitely looking forward to the new season ahead. Um, you know, coming off the back of uh, this night series, I hope it's put me in good shape to, uh, to get started um, the season in, in my best form possible. I know you live for your motorsport. We wish you all the very best of luck. I know you've got a lot of followers. So good luck not only for tonight and tomorrow night, but for season 2024. Yeah, I, and you know, I owe it to, to the followers. You know, the people that, uh, that that support the event, the people that come and watch, the people that buy gloves and helmets and tyres and bikes. 
everyone that contributes to motorcycles. I've got to, I've got to thank every one of you because um, that's what creates this environment for us to go racing. So thank you. I know that you've got a lot of Facebook followers. I know that Amy is your media liaison girl and interviews like this. How important is it to get messages out to the fans? I, I don't know. You'll have to speak to the fans. Um, I'm told it's uh, super important. Um, I see, you know, all the other uh, disciplines of sport, whether it be motorsport or any sport like that. Um, you know, social media now has su come such a key part of relaying uh, what we're doing daily and in our racing um, to the to the public. So, um, as far as I'm aware, it's it's very important. But maybe you should ask the fans, the key fans, how much how important it is. Well, I can tell you from my perspective, I've been involved in motorcycle racing uh, for many many years, especially commentary. You are one of the best, if not the best, ambassador for this sport. Well. I've been at it the longest, I think, possibly, so I'm bound to get better over time. Well done, mate. Good luck. Thank you. So that brings us to the end of night one. And look, we've just got it in in time and the rain's coming down. But um, got away in the first race, made up a couple of places, got to third, and then had a, a bit of a battle and lost the, the, a bit of a gap to the leaders. So um, it was uh, Josh Waters and Mike Jones um, got, got a gap and I was able to maintain the, the gap, but I couldn't, couldn't close. So um, yeah, had to, had to accept third. And then uh, the next two races uh, was able to bring it home in first. So fairly pleased and uh, definitely happy we got all the racing done before this rain's come in. So now uh, I can go and get rested and we can do it all again tomorrow.